This month, a new Congress convened in Washington, D.C. After a bitter 2020 election battle, it could be easy to lose sight of how much we have to be thankful about. And in the House of Representatives, the pro-life party actually gained ground. Among the gains were 13 new pro-life women who were elected to Congress, in addition to the 11 incumbent pro-life women who were already serving there. Seven of them flipped seats that were last held by pro-abortionists. This is one of the more encouraging and I think underreported developments of recent months. Sometimes it's easy to become discouraged in the fight for life. It's been going on for so long. Abortions, nearly a million every year, are still taking place. But over just the past year, we have seen numerous states adopt pro-life abortion restrictions. Conservatives who believe in the Constitution and don't read a leftist agenda into it, as the Roe versus Wade ruling did, now control the U.S. Supreme Court and fill the federal courts. A generation of Christians who grew up hearing pro-life arguments are now taking those arguments into the halls of power. And the abortion rate fell steadily throughout the past decade, reaching historic lows and representing hundreds of thousands of lives saved. So take heart, my friend. Your efforts have not been in vain. Lives are being saved. As the Apostle Paul tells us, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up.